Hello, hello, hello everybody. Well, it's uh, great to have you back, Chris here. Sunday afternoon. So, what we're going to do today is try and get a bit of a march on Christmas. So, hi everybody, great to have you back. Uh, so, it's a small bud vase and uh, I've got a piece of view here in between centres, so it's on a, <coughs> a step centre at the headstock end and the usual revolving live centre. So, a nice little piece of view here. Uh, so I'm going to turn it into a little dumpy bud vase. So, uh, yeah, what I need to do is just double check the spacing. a little bit there so obviously I'll be roughing this out with uh, my roughing gouge that's nice and clear there make sure everything's locked down and I'll just stand clear now and get a spinning quite fast uh, and again you know checking using uh, my hearing and feeling for any vibration that would be a warning sign but that sounded fine so I hope you're all well anyway and enjoying uh, life and staying happy so uh, I thought we'd, we'd do this over a, a couple of sessions so uh, on a Sunday afternoon so I won't keep you too long uh, try not to get you bored so I've got my roughing gouge here, so what I need to do is just have a feel where I'm going to be starting from. It feels a tad high, and I've checked that. So, check for spacing. Okay, that feels okay, so let's see how this goes. Get a fire up. It's not these parts of that. Spacing and the start point. Turn it up a bit now. A nice smooth control for. smoother and safer because if, if you try and go the opposite way now it, it runs away with you and it can be quite alarming if it gets <laughs> gets away with you so Following that tool rest with my finger, 
Shaving's feel nice, very nice. Well, that's it, locked into a cylinder. Feels very good. Uh, just have a, a quick sort of like precautionary feel for any cracks or dangerous inclusions, but that's feeling pretty cool. So, what my next stop will be now is to square the end off ready for a, a small tenon because I mount it into the jaws on the chuck so I could go about this a couple of ways parting tool square it off or uh, square carbide cutter which I am going to do part ways in so I'll just move that tool rest out a tad I always like to give it a bit more of an overhang. That should have squared that up enough now to give me a guide with the parting tool so I can get them right from that came over all Yorkshire then getting right close so I can get in as close as I can just having a feel for how much more I can go So really that's just left me with a, just a little bit of a ridge there, I'll try and get rid of. So that's left me now with a nice square end which I can uh, get the tenon on. So. Back to the square cutters, and I've got my uh, sorry my calipers here, which are set hopefully at the right distance for the chuck. So let's just nowhere near but just take your time if you take this this too small it's not as if you can add material back to it so Now that's, that was just a bit of a wiggle and she went over so that's given me just enough now uh, just to feel over here for I'll just give it the tiniest little dovetail here with the skew. Nice and careful. So all being well. 
this should work fine now. So let's just find that in a minute. So step sensors out. Just find my chuck. Quick swig of tea. Get that bar out. Get the chuck on. So, yeah, so for those of you that, that have been able to join me, how the devil are you? That's what I want to know. Answers on a postcard, please. Remember. Turn the machine off when you're doing stuff like this, especially uh, me, uh, I don't want to lean on the remote control and send it into a frenzy, because that would be no es bueno. <laughs> oh, and uh, yeah, yeah, it was cool of Brin to bring the, uh, the banjo banjo Lely round. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he said, very camera shy he is. So, just as that video went live, he was going, give me 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds just to practice. But it went live, so it was a uh, tough look, Bryn. <laughs> You're live. So, uh, yeah, camera shy. So, it wasn't a massive effort to get him to do something. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think he did really well, so probably some, some nerves and things and whatnot, but I think he, he did remarkably well to be put on the spot like that and do it anyway. And the, the banjo really did sound, it sounded awesome. And uh, surprise, surprise, he's a big George Formby fan. Uh, Those of you that know who George Formby is. Uh, don't need ex explaining too, but George Formby was a... Uh, he was a funny guy and he was famous for playing the banjo and he did a lot of great films back around the time of the war, Second World War. But uh, Bryn's a massive George Formby fan. Uh, and I remember listening to those sort of films back in the day. When they used to be on. Probably on from time to time. But Right, I think that's me. Nice and tight. So, uh Just turning the fan heater off. Power back on. Make sure that tail centre's providing some support. Fire in the hole! So that sounds okay and feels fine. Uh, so yeah, what I'm going to do now, it's a bit of sort of like a pot belly pot, a little bud vase, so it's going to have quite a stumpy bulbous base, uh, coming to a neck with a little hole in, probably about an 8mm hole. So uh, what I need to do, first of all, is get the parting tool and just roughly work out where the bottom of this is probably going to be and then give me a bit of wiggle room too what do I know, just make it up and go along Should be enough now. Uh, 
I can reduce that down. I don't want to take it too thin because I need that support. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a cute, dinky little thing. So I'm just having to think here now. I'm just thinking things over. Uh, I'll need my Brad all. So, I'm trying to stick with the two thirds and a third theme. I could get all anal about it and get my talking tape measure out. But I'm not going to. So, in fact, that feels about right. So, let's just give it a score line. There. I think that's about that's going to be about right there now so cool I'm happy with that at the moment and surprise surprise it's actually been a nice day today no rain as of yet I don't know about where you are but no rain here as of yet uh, so I'll be spindle gouge so I'm just going to remove some material here. I'm going to remove quite a lot. Obviously, the main the main body has got to be taken down. Uh, still, diameter wise, still too uh, chunky. Let's say. So, in fact, let's get this lathe spinning up now. A fair bit faster. It's held nice and safely. In the truck. In fact, it, just now, these the shape that I'm going for. It's almost like an old inkwell. So it's bulbous base, and then comes into a thinner neck. So I mean, you should be able to see the shape uh, coming along a bit there now. So. But it's entirely up to you. Do, do what, do whatever you want. It's, you know, it's your project at the end of the day. So, whatever you feel like doing, it's your project. You know, you are the artist. Have fun. Have a giggle. What it's all about. So. Removing the material. Nice cut there, riding the bevel. You know, you can, I, I don't know what, you know, tradition or you know you're supposed to do but 
you know, I use this this uh, gouge different different ways. You know, rising the bevel off, you know, a bit more of a circle. And of course, if you wanted to, you know, you can go to the round carbide tool. If you so desire. That lets us get rid of You see, it's all about having fun. If, it, if it's not fun and it's a chore, if it's not fun and it's a chore, you're not going to want to do it. Not for very long, anyway. You know, have a laugh, mix your tools about and practice and see what tool gets what effect and... Never be afraid to sort of like, try new things out. And at the end of the day, this isn't, it's not a commission. It, if, if it survives and it remains intact, it will become an item for sale. If it explodes, you know, it's not like I'm feeling really, really bad because someone had ordered it. So what I'm trying to say is, yeah, have fun. Sort of getting to the shape that I require. Now, uh, the, the, the base, the part, it's bum that it would sit on, is very flat and angular, so I do need to take that in more and give it more of a, a radius. Uh, which I can just have a... Just move the tool rest around and have a feel now, make sure that I'm in where I need to be. And just be softening that bottom. And just roll that cut over. Nice and gentle, the tool is like that, so I'm doing a bit of a shake up, but I can get this the tip of the gouge closer into the, the centre. So that's feeling nice there. So give this a bit of a tidying up, bit of a shake up. I mean that tool flute is almost completely closed 
getting a lovely shape cut 